go out. All right, guys. So, I'm in the uh, JCB Fast Track 4220, and uh, we're doing some tedding. Now, I was going to give you a quick show round, like I did with the John Deere. Put the handbrake on. Otherwise, this happens when we, if you stand up without the handbrake on, <laughs> it sends an alarm off, which is a bit extreme. But oh well. At least I won't forget to put the handbrake on. Right, we'll start with the outside, I guess. Like the John Deere. So this is my second day of using it now, so um, get, getting to know my way around it now. Oh, we've still got the flashing lights on from when I was coming down the road. Oh, we'll turn them off in a minute. So, so I guess the biggest thing about the fast track is the four-wheel steering and the uh, and the all-round suspension, the axle suspend hydraulic axle suspension. Oh, it's all a bit covered in hay in here. Basically, it doesn't actually have cab suspension. It, all the suspension is just done on these rams. So um, that's why they're known for being so smooth. Uh, whilst we're in here, we've got big old disc brakes, brake and twin calipers as well. I think it's like an eight-ton lift on the back on these rear linkage. I think that's what he said. We've got a 900 kilo weight up there, just to put a bit more weight on the back wheels. We've got a mirror here that folds down for when you want to hook up to a trailer. So, yeah. LED lights all round. That seems to be most tractors have that now, don't they? All these are LED. Buttons for up and down on the link arms. Uh, buttons for hydraulic top link, which it hasn't actually got on this one. And PTO cut off. So yeah, um, four spools on the back. One, two, three, four, and then one on the front. Yeah, so we come around the side. Obviously, it's our blue, like they all are these days. Diesel tank, air filter. I think, I'm guessing that's a filler for the hydraulic oil. Oh, yeah, there's a dipstick here for the transmission. I think that's transmission. It's got a Fent gearbox in it and a 220 horsepower uh, Suzu engine in it. We've got 600 all round at the moment, 600 tyres, which is what I have on the front of the, the 190. I think you can have, well you can do 650s all round, but it restricts your turning. But the guy said to me that you can put 650s on the back and that doesn't restrict your turning circle, so if we had it, we'd probably have that. It's got tinted glass, I'm not sure about in the sides. It's definitely got tinted in the back windows. It's all darkened. Twin mirrors, which is good. You can see right down the side here, which would be it, which would be good for edge trimming. Um, they're electric as well. Uh, so yeah, moving round. That's where we got it from, Oaks Brothers. They're the guys that brought it out to us. It doesn't have front PTO, but we would have front PTO. Again, disc brakes on the front as well, disc brakes all round and that hydraulic suspension. Um, we've got around this side, yeah, we've got uh, toolboxes in here, um, batteries and all that sort of stuff. I won't open it all up. We've got a toolbox here. We've got drawbar carrier here. So yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a real good looking tractor, I'll tell you that. It does look very nice. I'll turn the flashing lights off when I get back in. It's because I just come down the road from the other fields. This is um, this is the grass what I mowed on Sunday. And it's Wednesday now. It's still pretty green underneath. It's been tedded twice. So, um, yeah, we've got one spool on the front buttons for the front link arms. I think that's it on the outside. I'm probably missing something. But, yeah, I think that's it. 
We'll have a look inside. We've got a dog called Eric. Eli, Eric likes it. Anyway, there's loads of floor space in there. We'll be able to put him a nice little bed down here. Um, yeah, so, starting off with the dashboard, I guess, and this steering wheel. Pull that lever to pull the steering wheel down. And we've got this little dash display here with fuel and engine temperature and hours and all that sort of stuff. Rev counter. Have a closer look. Um, yeah, so, got some air, nice chrome air vents. They all look pretty smart. Passenger seat is nice. Nice leather passenger seat. That's pretty comfy, to be honest. That's comfier than what actual, some actual <laughs> tractor seats are. And we've got another way, Eric. Go on out, you go out the other side. We've got a fridge in here, which has got some brackets in it right now. But it's not turned on. Got a fridge in there for the lunchbox and the drink. So, moving around, might as well start up here. Come up here, we've got the stereo and climate control. Yes, yeah, so we've got buttons here for the lights. Um, what else we got? Windscreen washers, suspension. So that looks something to do with the brakes, I'm not exactly sure. Hydraulic SCV locks, so you can't accidentally put open the tailgate on the grain trailer. Flashing light, we've got diff lock, four wheel drive, I expect. Auto four wheel drive, yeah. Uh, I think that one is, um, what's it called? I'll think of the word in a second. ABS. And we've got all the PTO selections here. Four and then up and down on the link arms. A button there for GPS. Button there to, something to do with the steering, I'm not exactly sure. And then we've got this knob here that does the selects from four wheel steer to two wheel steer and then you can have it personalized so you can have it so that it it goes so you when you're in in your land work going up and on your ups and downs you in two wheel steer and then when you lift up the link arms it'll go to four wheel steer so you've got tight turning on the headland so that's good we've got handbrake we've got hazard lights we've got rear pto front pto would be there and we've got a little compartment here to keep some stuff with a little 12 volt power point there we've also got a little 12 volt power point in here as well there which is good to have plenty of them and we've got some controls in here for the link arms and draft control and yeah that's draft control and speed for up and down on the link arms and stuff like that so yeah there's not much around the back of here oh, we've got a lever for the pickup hitch nice back window Got a little bit in the corner here where you pull out for the to pull you bring your cables through from your implement. Right, and then I guess we might as well have a look at this screen. It's pretty simple. It's not it's not uh it's nothing like the John Deere screen, but it, it does most of the things that the John Deere screen does do, apart from guidance. If we had guidance in here, we'd have another screen up here with uh, like Trimble. Yeah, they run Trimble GPS, I think. And um, so, but this one hasn't got that on at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we got some cruise controls here. You know, like set speeds for field work and stuff like that. Different drive selections. Uh, D is for pedal mode. M is for manual on the stick. And then it has got a power sh shift as well, so that if we it'll select press that and you get all these you can actually select your gears and all these lights light up green as you're going along and then when we go back to manual it's just um, variable because it is a CVT transmission vent gearbox so uh, and you can do all sorts of endless amount of stuff in here you, you can um, all these buttons on the joystick here uh, in this screen you can you can make any assign any any 
spools to these buttons, uh, guidance, resume button, or you can do it up and down on the link arms. Uh, you can do PTO on and off, revs up and down, you know, till you go straight to a PTO speed. All sorts of stuff on there. A little orange button on the back, so that when you want to to um, start moving, you push it in and that's forwards, and then you do the same to go backwards. So we go back to neutral because we've still got the handbrake on. So we've got five spools here for our SCVs, rear link arms up and down, and controls there for low for. Yeah, that controls how low it goes, the link arms go. Same for the front. Hand throttle. Um, so yeah, obviously got a key, hazard lights. Yeah, that's it really. Um, yeah, so we'll do a quick little drive. I'll show you how I, how I go driving. I'll put you on my cap. So then I've got my hands free then. Uh, right, so we want a bit of PTO, turn that on. We already selected 540 economy there. We'll rev it up a bit. Handbrake off, push this button in to select forwards, and then we're going to push it to the right to speed up. So it's right to speed up and left to slow down. But then, and then we got up. I've got the link arm set on this button here, so that one's up. And then, if I press this orange button in and pull the joystick back, we'll go from forwards to reverse. I'm gonna slow down a bit, but going quite fast. And then we'll go push the orange button in and go forwards again. And then I'm gonna drop the link arms down to put the tether back down again. There we go. Simple as that. It's pretty simple, but I do like it. It's just like driving a fence, really, apart from it's not. With the fence, it's forwards and backwards to speed up and slow down. And this green button here is for the cruise control. So if I set that to like 10k, it will just take me straight to 10k. And then I can have um, another one set for the headland, so like 5k. So that's it really. Uh, I have to say I do really like it. It's very, very comfortable to drive. Much smoother with that. Even though it hasn't got cab suspension like the John Deere, it's those axles, the way they work, and the air seat, um, it is very, very comfortable tractor to drive. You know, the way that they're selling the machine is that even moving in between fields throughout the day, you're saving, you know, say five, a few minutes, but it all adds up throughout the day. Or if you're able to turn a little bit faster on the headland, it, it, it all adds up. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, you, if you, if you want, uh, there'll be more footage of it working in, in Monday's video, so look out for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.